Hello, living in Lafayette vlog, the 13th of May, 2013. Oops, forgot to turn the light in the back off. Of, well, I'll do that next time. Uh, so let's see, what did I do today? Um, I got up a little bit late, like 9.30 or whatever, because I was up later, because I was writing later. Finally got to sleep late. Um, but, yeah, I got up and then I tried to turn my little uh, thing on, my little GoPro. And, uh, but it was right when I was, you know, getting on tech support and, uh, it was turning on and it said the percentages were going up. So the guy's like, oh yeah, once the percentage goes up, it'll work. And I was like, all right. And so we got off and then I started talking to somebody on the phone and packed up my stuff and, uh, went out to Boulder and I, but I was organ I was cleaning up the house first. So this thing was plugged in for like an hour and a half on my on my computer. Cause you have to, you have to. It doesn't come fully charged, so it was charging, and um, and then I put it in my car and I plugged it up to the wall of my car to, to charge. And, uh, and I know the wall was working because my cell phone was plugged in there. My cell phone, if you unplug it from anything, it dies. I need to get a new cell phone, even though it's only a year old. Well, at this point, almost a year and a half old. But um, but uh, I guess I don't get another free cell phone for another couple of months, so I have to just walk around with this thing plugged up and stuff. But anyways, this thing was charging. GoPro was charging. I went into REI and got the helmet mount for it because it didn't come with the helmet mount. And then a little uh, headgear mount so that I can use it for when I go uh, running as well at REI. And then I went into the um, to uh, Pearl Street to Top Hat Cleaning Supply, uh, janitorial supply, and bought uh, like $55 of uh, rubber squeegees for washing windows. And then. Since I was in the neighborhood, I got a burrito at Legal Pete's, even though it was like seven fifty. I just had been so long since I had that kind of a burrito, and uh, one and one. And then I filmed um, Pearl Street because I want to make a video about Boulder. And then I drove all the way up to Batasta Reserve to mountain bike, and I tried to turn this thing on, it wouldn't turn on. I was like, "What the hell is wrong?" And you know, I plugged it up to the computer, it wouldn't turn on. And um, and then so I was like, "Screw this! I don't want to ride. I want to get this thing fixed right away. Maybe I can get it fixed with the tech support." and then go back up there later on today. So, um, and cause I couldn't even call tech support. There's no connection with uh, the telephone. Although I could, there was connection to like 911 services. So that's cool. If you don't have phone connection, you still have some kind of magical connection to 911. Anyways, I went home and uh, got on tech support and it found out that this thing wasn't charged. So even though it was charging for an hour and a half on the computer and then another two hours on the on the wall phone, on the wall, it wasn't charged, but I plugged it up to the same jack it was on the computer before, and it had the little red light on, and and um, said it was charging, so I was like, all right. So then I figured I was in town anyway, so I rode all over Boulder, or a lot of places in Boulder filming, because I want to make a video about Boulder, until the end of the day, and then came home. So it was my mistake that I didn't like make sure that it worked. It's in its out of character as well. I totally would have made sure it worked before leaving. But I was talking to somebody on the phone and I just kind of grabbed my stuff and left and forgot and fucking bit me in the ass. Um, but I did manage to do some do some filming, so it wasn't a total waste, but I didn't have to go into Boulder today. I didn't have to drive all that to Bedassa to preserve, so that was a lot of waste of gas money. But, um, but yeah, I... My mom had the Kindle, and I forgot to bring my MP3. I still don't know where it is. I hope I can find it, because um, it's the only one I have right now. Actually, I have another one, but um, but anyway. Um, okay, so but I start. I, so I borrowed her my Kindle from my mom, and uh, and I pushed play. You know, I pushed start on my little bike computer because I wanted to even re just record the trip I did around Boulder. It'd be cool to look at on the map because it went all over the place. But. Um, and come, yeah, and see what kind of like the different time zones they pass through. But, but anyway, you know, from Strava. But um, I pushed play on this uh, this this book I chose to read that I went on my website, Kindle website, and or Kindle books on my website, and chose one, Slave Narratives, and um, pushed play. And then I did my whole day listening to it. And then I came back to my car, and I was, as as I was strapping my bike to the, my my bike to my car, the book ended. So the book was the same exact length as my bike ride all around town. <laughs> so I did a whole book today. Um, yeah, and then I came here and um, it's like 9.16 now, so I want to get to sleep because it's dark and I want to get to sleep. I want to like be a diurnalist. I got up too late today. I want to get up with the sun. I want to get in the habit of that. It's just, 
I kind of feel like I accomplish more in a day that way rather than getting up late and then going to sleep late. Um, so I just want to be on those rollers and on the computer long enough to uh, just to drag the uh, all the videos I did onto my computer and then onto my external. Oh, whoops, I need to connect my external. Maybe I can grab it without getting off just to back it up and um, you know put all those in a place and then uh, and then uh, edit this one bike vid video about this table and then you know upload this video log and uh, and then take a shower and go to bed so and tomorrow I'm gonna go to Batasso but not before I make sure that this fucking thing works so it'll be take four but uh, yeah do Batasso film it all and then I get to make my video I'm so excited oh my god you have no idea how excited I am to make like a quality video you know not like a classic Kyle Pounds push record and go video but like you know something that with the graphics and all that cool stuff dude because that's what like I didn't even ride when I went up there like I'm not even motivated to ride unless I'm filming it <laughs> um, and but it's, it's gonna make me very motivated to ride in all sorts of new places and I want to make really good videos and there aren't that many good videos you know you type the Tesla preserve and it's just amateurs pushing GoPro and just going a little bit you know there's nobody who's really done it up and so I want to do it and who knows maybe maybe you know make make a few bucks here and there out of it so so uh, yeah that's that okay Talk to you tomorrow. Peace out.